Hi, I'm Governor Bev Perdue. I have some big news to share with you. By now, you've heard that North Carolina is facing a really deep budget shortfall, $3.7 billion. We saw this problem coming a long time ago, and I refuse to wait to start working on it. Early on in this administration, I took aggressive steps and have made tough decisions to keep our costs down. We've made structural changes to real and health care expenses by more than $100 million. We went after Medicaid fraud and we saved $50 million. We eliminated duplicative and underperforming programs and we've reduced middle management costs. And now, because of my administration's tireless commitment to defending North Carolina's business-friendly climate, we are really seeing an improved economic outlook. My administration's work on jobs and economic growth has meant more than 50,000 new jobs for this state with an investment of $10.4 billion. That work is finally paying off. I'm happy, happy isn't strong enough. I'm over the top happy to announce that our estimated budget shortfall for this biennium has dropped by 30%. That means to all of us that instead of having a $3.7 billion shortfall, we will have instead a $2.7 billion shortfall for the next fiscal year. Now, a billion dollars less is great news, but let me be very direct. We still have a very steep budget hole to overcome. There will be many tough, hard budget choices made in the next few weeks. Very soon, I will unveil my budget proposal to the General Assembly. I've worked hard with my staff to craft a budget that does what you would want me to do. It protects our legacy of investing in education and promotes job growth that helps our states recover. We want every person in North Carolina to have a job, and we're working to make that possibility a reality. And finally, we continue our work on resetting state government, changing the way we do things, for our future. Careful management and keeping North Carolina globally competitive has made the task of creating that budget just a little bit easier. And that's very good news for all of us that call North Carolina home. Thank you very much.